we bones that are here for yours await. Sorry. That's okay. I see him just apologising again because he's really slacking it off to the camera. <laughs> Good morning! So we are in Evera. Uh, we arrived last night and we parked in the one of the town airs, there are two, and uh, it was very busy. But we've come here because there seems to be quite a lot to see and it looks like a really good place. We've just been getting ourselves ready, haven't we? Getting ourselves ready, yeah. As, as Mrs Red has mentioned, it's a busy air but you've got all the services, no hookup, you just park up. It is like a big car park, but you are welcome here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the nicest, is it? No, but it serves a function because the local town has an awful lot of things going on for it. Looking at the maps, it's about a 15 minute walk from here, so we don't mind that. The dogs don't mind that, we're up for that. We had a quiet night here, no issues whatsoever. It is busy, so I think all you can say is like we'd always try and do part respectfully, leave a bit of room for somebody else to get in because it is super popular. But no issues, plenty of little places to walk the dogs, drop off your rubbish in your waste. So we're just looking forward to getting into the city to see what we can find, get a bite to eat, have a drink and um, finally relax because it's been a few tough weeks with the illness and the weather, it's been so hot. So today it's cloudy, overcast, a little bit of a breeze. So we're looking at getting to go and I've got a little poodle tapping my leg. I'm well, just looking at the van next door and it looks like it's got um, spaghetti as its uh, door curtain. Yeah, nice van. Well, it's a lovely van, yeah. Not seen one of them before. Right, uh, get our stuff and go then. Well, you ready? Get ready. Pip. Time to leave. Pip. So, I've come into the chapel of bones. So you pay six euros for one adult, and you can look around the chapel and the ossuary where the chapel of bones is. So, I'm gonna take you in now. Inscription above the door says, We bones that are here for yours await. All nativity scenes here, and you can see one here made of cork. So, once you've seen the Chapel of Bones, you come upstairs as a museum. And it's fascinating, there's some amazing works of art. Everything is written in Portuguese and English, so it's really easy to, you know, look at all the exhibits and understand what you're looking at. This is poor Saint Agatha, and uh, quite tragic actually. She was a Sicilian virgin, martyred in the third century, whose breasts were cut off with pincers and then healed when Saint Peter appeared to her. 
And this unfortunate looking bloke was uh, St John. As you move through the museum, you can see it houses a huge collection of nativity scenes. onto the roof with the beautiful views all around of the city. Fascinating. I don't know what those things are hanging up. Vegetables of some sort. I think they're models, I'm not sure. We've come out for a wander around and it's time to have a bite to eat and a drink. Now, Mrs. Redders has just been in the Chapel of Bones, so she must be feeling a bit thirsty. A bit it dry. was a bit dry in there, yeah. A bit dry in there as well. Yeah. Quite dead as well, wasn't it? Not much going on. It was, it was actually a really strange thing because, to be honest, it was quite difficult to look at them and think of them as actual people. Oh, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was quite difficult to sort of imagine them as the people that they'd once been, rather than just a, a, a decoration. But then that's what it was about. That it was showing that it's the soul and not the body mean something? Yes, that was the point. The Franciscans believed that the body means nothing, um, but it's the soul that matters. Yeah. And that was, you know, it was quite thought provoking in there. There were some very interesting things. There was a couple of mummies in there that I showed you. Um, they had an interesting story. Oh. Yeah, they were to do with um, apparently they were a father and a son who badly treated the mother and they suspended them night halfway so they were neither in heaven and neither in hell and that's how they were found so, yeah it was interesting it was, all, it was I mean it was quite dark but also extremely beautiful but it was a very very strange thing that those people were once people, um, living, breathing people with thoughts and feelings, and now we're all in there looking at them. Well, but, it goes uh, back, what, 400 years? Yes. Yeah, they emptied the graveyard, which they do quite often in these countries, they empty the graveyards to make room for more people. Mm. Um, and then they use them to decorate the Chapel of Bones. But, uh, definitely worth having a visit there. It's only six euros and there's a muse museum upstairs that I took you to that has some very unique exhibits so uh, well worth a visit I think. Yeah I've seen the photos and had the update and did a bit of reading and it does it goes back to the 16th century they needed more land and you know as been mentioned that's how they achieved it. Mm. I don't think it's a modern day practice anymore, but... Um, no, you know, I don't think you'd get away with it anymore. We a bit of room you? back then. So, and then we've had a wander around. This place is pretty amazing. We've just come to a little um, restaurant called the Tunnel Bar. Yeah, and I'll show you why it's called the Tunnel. Because, as you can see, we're in a tunnel. <laughs> and apparently it's been here many years. So it's a tunnel. I think we're a bit wonky there, aren't we? That's level. It's a tunnel, and the menu is pretty basic, but it's all traditional food. Traditional, home cooked, basic food. Yeah. So Although, what did I order? Well, you ordered a burger. I, the waiter came and he took the order and I never understand how people can do this 
he didn't write it down. And I'm thinking, well, you're gonna write it down because I'm forgetting it as I'm saying it and it's what I want. But uh, literally with me, if someone gives me a list of things, it goes one ear and immediately falls out the other. Yeah, so I've ordered a traditional dish. What is it called? Um, it's that traditional, I can't remember it, but I'll show you it when it comes. It looked, um, kind of looked like a Welsh rabbit. It did, didn't it? With, yeah, which I think is horrible. <laughs> well, we'll see when it comes. But again, it said it was a traditional dish. Yeah. Well, when in Portugal, you've got to try a traditional dish. Absolutely, you do, so yeah. We'll do that, do. and then you're having a traditional dish, um, hamburger. Yeah, that, which is very unlike me, but um, yeah. Oh, That's what bread. I wanted. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that looks good. Oh, crikey. That is a better size. That is, yeah. So that's the, um, the, the tapas opener. What was that, six euros? Uh, six euros, yeah. yeah. Six euros. And it's not too big. So that's important. And it looks good. Yeah, so we've got two pâtés, olives, cheese. Yeah, I wonder what these are. Mm, that's tasty. Reminds, what is it? Reminds me of the paste we used to get in the jars years ago. What oh, like a paste, yeah. Yeah, what was that paste called in the jars with the little metal lids? Prince's paste. That's it, yeah. I used to like that. I did too. Nice bread. fish paste sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat a good fish paste sandwich. Try a bit of that on there, see what that's about. Yeah. Mm. Is it alright? There's definitely some fishiness going on there. So what's the other one then? More fishiness. Have you tried them both? It's dark I mind, that one. Oh, it's tasty. That's tuna or sardine, it's very fishy. Mm. It's strong, isn't it? Mm. That's meat. No, it's not. I think they're both fishy. Mm. What do you want, girl? Golly. Why anybody think they'd serve this paddy green chum the way Dolly's going? <laughs> yeah. I know. It's not chum, this is mine. So, what is it? Um, this is my traditional dish that I can't remember what it's called, sorry. So, what is it wrapped in cheese or I'm what? Not sure, it's. Um, let's have a look. I don't wanna... It's strange, or is it bread? Yeah, like I think it is a bread. Oh no, what? It's like oh. cheesy bread with a whale on top. No. Whale fries. You better use your knife. Mm. I want to see what this is like, right? Yeah, so it's cheese wrapped in bread. Yeah, it's cheese wrapped in bread with. Um, oh, there's hello. Like a, there's a pork there's steak a, underneath pork, there. Ch chorizo, um, a whale tongue. And a sauce. Okay. So yeah, that's really interesting. That's, it's quite tasty because because I, I like cheese. Good. But well, I'm, you see, I don't. And here's my dinner because yeah. the waiter who didn't write it down brought me a burger with cheese on, which I said, please no cheese on my burger. So mm. Sorry. that's okay. I'm just apologising again because he's really slacking it off to the camera. <laughs> anyway, I haven't got me done. Yeah, so moral of the story there for waiters, write it down. Yeah. Because <laughs> unfortunately I had to send it back. Look, they actually have shoes made out of 
Cork. Cork postcards. <laughs> it's all about the cork. <laughs> cork hats. Everything you can think of made out of cork. Bags, shoes, hats, oh, look. posters. Olive oil bottles. I'm assuming that's olive oil, do you think? I think this is like cork straight. Cork trainers. I like these. That's a nice one. I like the fish plates. You saw a greyhound there, didn't you? Yeah. Well, oh, there's the uh, ruins up there. I like benches. Yeah. I don't think I need to see inside another church. For the dogs to have a drink. Um, Pippa and Wilfie will have a drink. Dolly will refuse it. No, uh, <laughs> she will. She can be quite obstinate when yeah. she wants to. She she just refuses drinks out. She, she does. She'll be just like, no, I'm going to remain thirsty because I can. Yes, I want to wait till I get back to my dish yes. at the van. And if that little black poodle drinks from there, I'm not going to. Right, Dolly. Of course, of course we always try her. Yeah. You two do. finished? Doll? Doll? Would you like a drink, Doll? Give him one. <laughs> <laughs> See? Um, yeah, try it. You can have a drink? Oh. All right, then. Give him one, then. <sighs> She's a little madam. <laughs> she has to have things exactly her way. My way or the highway. And she will only drink in our house or in our van. She will not drink outside at all. But, the other two are fine. But today, I think the weather has been... Oh, it's much cooler, isn't it's it? It's a nice breeze. It's probably 23 degrees. Yeah. It's cloudy. It's not beaten down. So it's nice to be out walking. Yeah, it's um, absolutely perfect today. There is cloud. That, we're, we're in the town and this is half past three on a Saturday afternoon. Mm. So it's pretty good. Yeah, it's quite quiet, isn't it's it? It's fairly quiet. The E3s were busy, but they were also good prices as well. Yeah. So we are heading back to the van now and we are going to move on. Um, mainly because uh, it wasn't a particularly fantastic stop last night. It's very, very convenient for the city, but um, it's just, yeah, it's just think... it is an air, it is an official air. But it's also just a car park and it's a little bit scruffy. So well, it's scruffy and busy and I think what you tend to find is you, you, you're sat in your van. Ours is 6.3 metres. Stick the back, back box on, 7 metres tops. Mm. That's it. You're tucked into a car park in space where you're allowed to be. But you're also mindful there's a lot of movement outside. Oh, sorry, the dogs are having tapas off the floor. Mm. <laughs> there's a lot of movement, you know, outside. And I've seen a lot of people guiding vehicles in and out of spaces. It's a little bit of jeopardy. Will yeah. you get a scratch? Won't you get a scratch? Um, there's better ones out there. But for coming into the city here... Been perfect. Perfect. 15 minutes and you're in. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's got some lovely little side streets and... Um, how do it you does. say it? Evera? Evera. It's and a beautiful little city. It is. It's a wall city and then... It goes back, well, way, way before the 16th century, because that was when they were digging 
bones up to put in the churches so that the history in this place is fantastic mm. and, and you look at the houses and the doors yeah it's just they're all very much this sort of golden orangey color yeah. um and green the only so, thing that very I'm pretty sort of finding is it's an amazing city lovely to walk around but because people still live here which is amazing great to see there's traffic there's yeah. a lot of traffic everywhere and they they don't have shifts so yeah they really do fly down these tiny mindful. side streets and it's difficult to listen out for electric cars yeah <laughs> so, but they are very courteous but you don't want to be crossing the road with the cars coming no lots of uh, knick-knack shops here with yeah. uh, knick-knacks not expensive that's a got an owl on it a hat very cheap hats huge blocks of marble doesn't it yeah this is the air and as you can see it's really filling up already um, it's in the middle of a residential area with a car lot next door and a lot of the vans have to park on sideways because they're too big to go any other way yeah, some are some are but it's like there they could hang over if they wanted to yeah there's different options but it is you know it is what it is you take your chance when you turn up don't you yes exactly uh by us as a caravan <laughs> we are right across the other side of this well, you can it see does there, fill right? up extremely quickly and yes redders is right there are caravans here yeah in fact there's quite a few caravans if you look so i'm guessing they're here quite long term mm. uh there's services yep, water drop gray blah 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 oh and we sit outside look yeah. I, I personally this isn't the place to sit outside is no, it it's not, not at it's all. um it's convenient to park up and then you drive yeah but yeah some of these could park backwards they yeah choose not to for some reason yep well, we're going to jump on ours and uh, head off. So this is the city and that's it. it otherwise, that no, it's not It's, it's, it's not, not grey. I mean, you can see it's litter. There's a lot of um, mess along here. It's, it's not the nicest. But as Redis says, it does what we need it to do. Right, you going in, little mate? Come on then. Good boy. Hup. In you get, Pip. Baby, hup. Good girl. Good girl. In you get. Oh, you're doing well. Good girl. That's and it. in you get dolls. Doll. No, Dolly, go and get a drink if you're lucky. Right. You're going to go and get a drink. Oh, it's warm in here. I think we need the fan on a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Look at all water start wrapping up. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's definitely quite warm. Right. Let's get this on out. Let's have a look. Up. Oh, it's already out. That's better. Everybody in. Yep. Get the Starlink. Yep. Get your little Pippi's lead off. And there we go, see? Dolly's having a drink. Because yep. that's Dolly's bowl. Very fussy, aren't you, Dolly? Yeah, she says, I like my own bowl. Um, so that's Starlink, so we're going to get that in. I think we have mentioned on, we've mentioned on Facebook, uh, we're ditching Starlink. We are not happy with Elon at all. We're not happy with his prices. No. He's throttled us. So uploading is so slow compared to my EE SIM. Um, yeah, not worth it. And you only get two months at a time travel now outside of your home country. So not worth it anymore, guys. If you were thinking of it, read the terms and conditions because we're getting rid of ours. Just filled up, made use of the air and the facilities here are great. It's got the black drop, it's got drinking water, grey drop, everything you need. Um, it's just a shame that people don't respect it because these sort of things we're going to lose. Look at that. Just muck everywhere. You change your toilet and then you just throw it there. All the waste and muck around here. It really is uh, a shame because the city's beautiful. This has been provided 
for us and um, yeah it ain't the best and up there look you can see there's a seti a frolly in the table um, I wonder how long this one's gonna last but there we go made use of it and left it how I found it couldn't really do much else I'm afraid So I'm guiding in now with the use of the phone, which we have to do sometimes. Oh, there's a big fountain up here. This is Elvas. Are we ready to say thank you, Wilf? So, we have a couple of thank yous. We'd like to firstly say <laughs> thank you to the Farleys on top for the super thanks, very much appreciated. Really is very kind of you, thank you. Oh, you leave me alone now, are you? That's had enough of me. And the second one is to Jed and Jeanette. Thank you so much for the coffees. They're really appreciated too. It does make a difference to us and thank you very much indeed. Thank you guys. You've been warned about me. You've heard that all I do is obsess about you. 